from the assembly compartment. Video. Uh, there should now be an increase in range rate. Okay, so fire squad is 01017, 0 0.17, 0 0.19, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. Uh, are going to um, the starboard and down. Range is one uh, five zero. Uh, zero decimal four is the range rate. Progress uh, 51 now beginning its final approach a little earlier than planned and moving in towards that uh, docking port on the aft end of the, Zve of the, of the Zvezda module. The players initial operation. Correct. Sending it. Yes, I confirm. Then BPS initial uh, operation with the HC mode. No, it's not going to get better. I'm going to stay in this mode. Roman, whichever way it's more convenient for you. Okay. I turned off operation. Now we lost uh, video right now. Sending BPS initial. We have the video again. Sending operation. Rain. The uh, software patch that was sent up by Russian uh, ground controllers to, that's going to enable us to use the KERS system for the stocking uh, will mean that the final approach is much slower than it usually is. That'll give uh, the teams here on the ground time to assess the vehicle as it moves in for docking and make sure that uh, everything is going as it should. Again, the uh, crew on board the station is standing by to take over and uh, dock the progress manually if needed, but for now we are continuing to use the KERS automated um, docking system to uh, guide the Progress 51 in for its now I fully docking on the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Uh, now we've got the picture back. Range 8, 9. Looking at the angle of docking, um, port is one shell over. The target is port side below. Uh, zero four is the range rate. Copy. Operation is off. Copy. We're approaching one cell. Off to the docking compartment. Copy. The center of crosshairs in relation to the target is two degrees, uh, basically two cells over. Speaking simultaneously. A copy two degrees. Range. We passed one cell. It's about six two, and the range rate is zero four. Approaching. Copy. Progress fifty one now about a hundred and. Uh, 60 feet away from the space station, moving in on that port that you can see here through the uh, camera on board progress at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Again, this final approach is going to be much uh, slower than usual to give the teams here on the, on the ground time to assess the vehicle as it does make its approach. That's courtesy of a software patch that uh, was sent up to allow the uh, CURS system to be used without this antenna that didn't deploy following its launch on Wednesday. 
Okay. Yes, I can talk. Okay, copy. We have a SESAPA ready. A range is One of the other antennas on board the uh, Progress was just retracted as per the plan. That is a, an antenna that's used to provide a mechanical scanning of the target, in this case the space station, for uh, range rate information. That again was retracted as planned, and uh, you're seeing here the current view of the progress as it approaches the space station. 36. And range rate is zero one eight or one nine. Docking mechanism on the uh, Zvezda service module has uh, been powered up. Again, everything continuing to progress as planned, although slower than usual. Are you to give everyone time to uh, assess the situation as the progress does make its way into uh, the docking port. Again, uh, oh yeah, that was in this case with the the antenna that uh, didn't deploy following launch in a different position than usual. Progress is only going to be soft docked to the space station for now to give uh, the teams here on the ground time to take a look and make sure that uh, the position that it's in is not going to do any damage to the hardware around the docking area. We see the target. Could you repeat? Switch to cover one. How copy? Copy, HF-1. No cover. How copy on the HF-1? Muscle uh, calling ISS on the HF-1. How do you copy loud and clear? Very loud. Range 20, uh, meters, zero, zero, 009 range rate. Uh, two south is uh, port side. Port side, one south, uh, bottom, uh, two south. 20 meters and two and a half south. Copy transmission. This view now of the progress about uh, 65 feet away from the International Space Station and slowly continuing to move into its docking port on the Zvezda service module. Antimeters range. We go. Traffic transmission. Copy. Range rate 009. At 2 uh, degrees. Uh, to the left, uh, to the port side. View you're getting now provides a good look at the antenna that didn't deploy during uh, or following launch on Wednesday. It's just below the crosshairs here on the screen. You can see uh, a deployed antenna near the uh, top center of the screen. And that was is what the uh, other antenna would normally look like. Again, because of the position it's in, and because that's not uh, the normal position. Progress it will only be coming in for a soft dock to the space station for now to give the teams here on the ground the time to take a look at uh, the position that the uh, satellite, uh, the antenna is in and make sure it's not going to do any damage in that position to the uh, hardware and equipment that uh, surrounds it on the uh, in the docking area. Bottom to the port side. A soft dock means that the forward docking probe on the vehicle will enter the docking port but won't go far enough to initiate capture or close the hooks that would bring it in for a hard dock. Normally, once those hooks are closed, uh, the probe would then uh, draw in to pull the two vehicles flush together, so we won't see that in this docking. Instead, it will uh, stay in that soft dock mode as long as needed before uh, the teams here on the ground are comfortable with bringing it in for a hard dock. Yes, copy, we see the antenna closing. Visually, we pass. Okay, 14 meters. How is the picture? It is stable, nominal. Uh, one point. Five cells over. 10 meters. Copy. And range is zero one. 
Standing by now for contact between uh, Progress 51 and the International Space Station. And the teams here on the ground confirm that uh, Progress 51 has been captured. That was at 7.25 a.m. Central Time. Again, we do have capture between the Progress 51 and the International Space Station. That took place at 7.25 a.m. when the two vehicles were uh, 261 miles over the Chinese-Kazakhstan border. <laughs> 